on behalf of my brother, Greg Lusick, also known as Hollywood Slim, I thank the Cleveland Blues Society for this award. This would have made Hollywood very, very happy. Hollywood was born in 1950 and passed away in 2019. He and I grew up here in Berea, right here in Berea, and we started our first band here in 1974. He was 23 and just finished his degree in fine arts at Akron University, and I was 17 going into my senior year at Berea High School. It was an exciting time, rehearsing a lot, learning new songs, starting to play out at private parties and in bars. Our first band members during those first several years were other guys here from in Berea. Several Hollywood Slim Band members over the years are here right now. Conrad Ackerman, who played trombone. Kevin Oki, who played guitar, especially when I was away at college. Jim Quigley, drummer extraordinaire. Tom Hammett, other drummer extraordinaire. I'm grateful to all the folks we got to play with, but I'd especially like to thank drummer Mark Ryan and bassist and vocalist Paul Lawson for playing with Hollywood and me during the last 17 years of Hollywood's life. Mark Ryan and Paul Lawson. During the first couple years when we were playing, Hollywood was known by his name, Greg Lusick. It was Greg Lusick who played harmonica and sang with the Pete Vinegar Rhythm and Blues Quintet. It was Greg Lusick who sang and played harmonica with the Stanley Nicholas Northside Rhythm Kings. But one night in 1976, when we played our first gig with the Stanley Nicholas Band, my brother called a bunch of his friends to come and hear us. Unknown to many of those folks, Greg had lost a lot of weight, and he looked pretty different. He also began to wear his signature sunglasses four years before the Blues Brothers movie came out, I'll have you know. When we finished our first set, one of Greg's friends came up and affectionately told him, Greg, I came looking for you, and I see this Hollywood slim looking motherfucker up there singing and playing harmonica. Well, we band members thought that was pretty funny, and the name stuck. And in 1976, that is when my brother Greg Lusick became Hollywood slim. Other than times I was away at college, when Kevin Oakey played guitar with the band, Hollywood and I otherwise played over a 45 year span together. We initially played rhythm and blues and blues styles, but eventually began to add swing styles and some jazz standards. If you have not seen it, please check out the poster I put together right over there. It's on the way to the bathroom, so you gotta see it. There's a lot of band photos, first bands, and uh, there are personal photos there to check out. I also put together a CD that you can take for free. A free CD of 18 songs, including songs from our first bands in, in the 1970s and 80s, all the way to our last recording of 2014. Since this is a Cleveland Blues Society event, on that CD I've included mostly blues music from our archives. I hope many of you can take one of those CDs as a remembrance of Hollywood Slim. He would have loved for you to hear it. You know, Hollywood and I drove hundreds to hundreds of gigs together and we would talk with admiration about so many of the great blues musicians here in the Cleveland area. With regret, we also thought that we never got to hear each other enough or get to know each other enough personally because we were all playing at the same time on Friday and Saturday nights. Nor did we get to know so many of you kind folks in the audience who came to listen to our bands. But thanks to organizations like the Cleveland Blues Society, musicians can get together 
and get to hear each other and know each other a bit better and get to know you people in the audience. So thank you, Cleveland Blues Society. And on behalf of Hollywood Slim, thank you for recognizing him with this award. Thank you. moments we'll start bringing up some of our Hall of Fame members to listen to.